I'm Nigel. And I'm Brad. And together, we're on a quest to uncover the grassroots innovation that makes Australia a very clever nation. Ingenious Oz is touring the Northern Territory, where remote locations and tough conditions bring out incredible creativity in all sorts of people. Nigel, what's the speed limit again? It's a lot faster than you've been going, mate. We're starting in beautiful Alice Springs with the Outback's first 100% carbon neutral venue, Earth Sanctuary. This is a fantastic family-run business that showcases sustainability in action and has inspired thousands of visitors to think about climate change and work towards a healthy, vibrant future. The Falzon family came here 18 years ago and we want to know why. What was the, the catalyst for actually coming to the Outback in the first place? Obviously sustainability was a key, but why here? It oh, could've, you could have gone anywhere, right? Yeah, yeah, true. Well, Dad's history, he was here in 69. He did a trip around with his combi in 69 and, and um, he made it to Uluru and he doesn't know how long he was down there because he was adopted by the, the tribe down there. But he, you know, he left a, a part of him here in Alice Springs. So when we talked about setting up a place, you know, finding space somewhere, this just kept singing out. And we, you know, we were very naive to be quite honest. We sort of got here and December 31, 999. On the turn of the millennium. On the turn of the millennium. Y2K inspi inspired us in the sense that what happens if systems fail? What happens? What do we do as a society if we're not sustainable? And the whole point of the sanctuary was to develop a space to try and do something for climate change. Visitors can see sustainable energy technologies like solar and wind in action and learn more about the local culture which has been sustainable for thousands of years. It is our primary goal is, is education. So we run events with lots and lots of kids from around Australia, come and stay at the sanctuary and sleep under the stars with swags and they do eco tours around the whole property here. And we love to motivate and inspire kids and say, listen, I know you hear doomsday discussions yeah. these days, whether it be the news or you're watching um, you know, the aftermath of floods around the world and, you know, we're, none of us are silly. We don't all need to be scientists. You can, we can all see the, what's going on around the planet. So we need to be here to inspire and to motivate, remind them there's fantastic technologies that are available now. While education about sustainability is the thousands passion, it doesn't pay the bills. Luckily, they discovered an ingenious solution under this great big sky. When we first arrived, the homestead wasn't big enough for the three boys, so we got kicked out. Oh, you said, really? You said... We slept, we said we moved out into Swags on day two of, of moving out here. Um, we loved it so much, watching the heavens move above our head from east to west and watching, seeing the Milky Way and this beautiful black sky. Um, we ended up sleeping in these Swags for 10 years and we naturally learnt the universe. And, um, uh, and after that experience, um, Tom and I will now talk to 400 people a week now. We've conducted over 800 astronomy programs and it's all just come from natural observations and um, teaching people about some of the stories that we've been fortunate enough to be passed down from Hutu Julu, Yankin Jinjara, Pitten Jinjara or Desert Mob. This is home to the Aranda people, of course. But now we get in, you know, visitors from all around the world um, who, who come here and uh, who are you know, dying to do it. They just want to feel this beautiful experience sitting under the stars around a fire. And for, and for lots of people, um, lots of our guests who come in and say, look, before they travel to Australia, this is it. This is the, the, the quintessential Outback Australia. This is what was in their mind. So this is really important awakening happens to people when they get out here and they get stripped off those, those you know, superficial things, I suppose, and they're just having the time of their life and they glowed. And it's just the desert and what it does to people. Yeah. I just love this place. I just think Danny and his brothers, in fact, the whole Falzon family have created something, you know, not just ingenious, but unique, you know, to, to have a, an, a business that is helping to save the planet, that is making a difference, teaching people how to be more sustainable. 
But in finding a way to actually support them to do that, uh, such as the Star Show, is just incredibly clever. And what a beautiful part of the world to do it in. The NT is just stunning. And you can't help but think that this environment, you know, spawns and triggers and creates great ideas like the Earth Sanctuary.